this research is really exciting because for the first time we've been able to find um, the underlying causes of the most common form of epilepsy, which for years we've suspected is genetic, but the underlying genes that, are that actually result in the epilepsy haven't been able to discovered. And the reason for that is it's complex genetics, or it's multiple genes that come together. And when we would looked at relatively small groups of patients, 100, 200, 2000, we haven't been able, had the power to find this. But now with this intellectual collaboration where the Royal Melbourne patients were an important part of this, um, we've got 8,000 patients together and with that we were able to first time find two genes that were critically important in determining this form of epilepsy. Well it means for the first time we've actually got a clue to why people with the most common form of epilepsy have their epilepsy. And we've discovered a gene that we never thought was involved with epilepsy, which is involved in how nerve cells connect together. Um, and this now provides us a target by which we can develop new therapies, which actually might have an effect on curing the epilepsy, not just suppressing the seizures. This was at its essence a collaborative study. The Australian part of it, which is 380 patients who had their, with epilepsy who had their genes genotyped, um, was, uh, was funded and, and uh, directed from the Royal Melbourne Hospital, but with the collaboration of the Austin and uh, also uh, the University of Melbourne with Sam, Professor Sam Berkovic. Epilepsy is very common. Um, it's the most common serious neurological disorder and it affects probably about 200,000 Australians.